Chair recognizes Kelly Horsley. Mr. Chairman, I have a resolution. Ke Kelly Damon, Horsley, Damon. Precinct 877. Uh, the resolution condemning pay to play slate endorsements. I think this is the last one in your packet. Is there I'll a just, second? I'll second. Just, well, Jeff Larson. I'll just read the, the first whereas and then the resolve. Uh, just read the resolve. Read resolve. Okay. Uh, be it resolved that the Harris County Republican Party disassociate itself by name from pay for play slates and any other slate that is not published by an officially recognized Republican club or other auxiliary group. I need to be, read the final yes. resolve. Yes. And be it finally resolved that the chairman of the Harris County Republican Party shall certify this resolution by signing it within five days of passage and shall publicize the continued opposition of this executive committee to pay for play endorsements in all elections by posting this resolution on the HCRP website and by distributing it to all candidates who file for the Republican primary. Okay. You want to speak to the resolution? I do. And one minute. Uh, yes, Chris Young. Um, I've personally been involved in the um, in the fight to uh, rid Harris County of the pay for play slates, um, and I think that we have all had this discussion amongst ourselves before, uh, beginning in 2014. But I think it's still an important discussion to have. Uh, I think the vast majority of us know about it, but the voters that don't attend these meetings need to be reminded uh, of the uh, dangers of following the pay to play slates. Uh, that they should, you know, do their own research, not to simply rely on a few top paid endorsers to make the decision for them. Uh, so the party needs to continue to condemn the practices of what's known as pay for play. Thanks. Okay. Anyone to speak against the resolution? Clint Moore? Yeah, I rise in opposition to this. Clint Moore, Precinct 110. I call especially to the language in the Be It Resolved that says and any other slate that is not published by an officially recognized Republican club or other auxiliary group. Okay? There are a lot of different people putting out slates. We'll get about 15 or 20 in our, in our mailbox. So I really have a problem with all other slates that are not pay-for-play slates or any slates. I send out, and I think we all do, a slate, or many of us do, as precinct chairs recommending various different things. So. In, in, and I pay for it out of my own pocket. So I really have a problem with this, and I move to table this this amendment, this this uh, and this uh, resolution, please. Postpone indefinitely. Sorry. Is there a second to postpone it? Second. Okay, you're called well. Second. And just in speaking of the motion postponed indefinitely, uh, more you want to speak to. Okay. And, well, I've pretty well said all my remarks. Thank you very much. And someone against postponing indefinitely. Uh, right. Gentlemen here. Jim Bowen, 782. I believe that's a dilatory tactic. Uh, all we're asking is that the Harris County Republican Party disassociate himself uh, from any slate that's not published by an official recognized Republican club or all other auxiliary groups. Not saying that you can't do one. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else speak in favor of postponing your definition? I don't see anybody, so I'll put it to you. Vote all those in favor. This would basically. Uh, Put this resolution aside for, for the rest of this biennium. Uh, those in favor of postponing it, definitely this uh, resolution say aye. Aye. Those opposed say nay. Nay. Nays have it. It's not postponed. Let's begin the debate. Uh, Mr. Moore, I guess you spoke against it before you, you were speaking against the resolution before when you introduced your, your so you, that's one against. So now it's time for someone to speak in favor of the resolution. Rolando Garcia. Rolando Garcia, Precinct 33. Uh, this is the same resolution that was passed in two previous terms. Uh, we passed a similar resolution before the 2014 primary and again before the 2016 primary. This is simply restating the position that this committee has already taken before the 2018 primary. And just to clarify what the previous speaker said, we're not prohibiting any other slates 
We're just making sure that they don't associate themselves or present themselves as the Harris County Republican Party. Uh, again, this, this is kind of a no-brainer. We're, we're not calling out names. We're just simply condemning the practice of pay-for-play. So I, I would hope that everyone can agree with that. Uh, this is something that we passed uh, unanimously without opposition last time. So I hope it passes uh, without opposition again. Thank you. Okay. Anyone to speak? I, I else to speak against the resolution? Daniel Caldwell? Uh, I actually wanted to submit a point. Daniel Caldwell, page 85, as a point of inquiry for the chair. Uh, would having the additional paperwork of making sure that all of the candidates who register with you be a bother? You should see the packet of information they already get, so I don't think one more page would be a problem. Okay. <laughs> uh, other than that, my my opposition to it kind of goes on free market principles. If people want to, if people have the funds to pay for an endorsement, let them pay for it. <laughs> okay. It's time for one more speaker in favor of the resolution. Uh, Scott Bowen, Precinct 416. Um, I, I think we all uh, condemn the practice of pay-for-play slates. Uh, I don't think anyone should be paying for an endorsement, and if they do pay for it, then it certainly shouldn't carry the seal of the Harris County Republican Party. So, this practice needs to end, and candidates need to realize I think if every candidate together realized that you don't have to pay for these endorsements, they don't get you anything in the campaign, then they wouldn't have any money and they would shut down. So uh, I'm looking for candidates to have the courage to not play this game. And uh, so I'd like everyone to vote with us and condemn this practice. Yeah. Right. And there's space for one more speaker against the resolution. John Randall, Precinct 383. Yes, sir. Again, a point of information. Is there any chance that the Harris County Republican Party can provide us with a list of those that are the offending ones? I mean, I get some of them, but I don't get all of them. Uh, and I'd like to, to see if, if we couldn't distribute information about exactly who it is we're condemning. I think the point or major to answer your question is the resolution doesn't name names, and we'll do whatever the resolution requires us to do. Um, and I think it, but it doesn't, it says just associate from other groups, but I don't think it's so okay. And I was asking you if you would do more, which was give us some information. Uh, well, we'll do it, we're, whatever is appropriate for the party to do, pursuant to this resolution. So, again, one, was it one more speaker against? Tom Zex. It's Tom Zex, I believe, right? Tom Zakes, Precinct 221. Thank you, all of you. And I did not pay anyone to vote for me. Uh, and I, I ran for Justice of the Peace last year. I got a lot of requests uh, for people to talk to them about my race. Uh, I had some people who asked me for money. I didn't give anybody any money to, to talk to them about my race. Uh, but the, the fact of the matter is, I, I think that everybody in here knows who the, the what's commonly referred to as the big three are. I've known all three of the gentlemen who run these things for decades. They're very dedicated Republicans. Yeah, you've, you've known one of them. Okay. Uh, I, I think these are good people. Take it for what it's worth. Uh, if you ask any single one of them, if you ask the candidates who have been in front of them, usually it's several groups of candidates who don't get endorsed or the ones who are complaining. Uh, but the people who I've known... The people who I've known, I have felt like, hey, there is a rational reason for the people who they have endorsed. Thank you for what it's worth. Everybody should do their research. That's what okay, I always time. do. Thank you, sir. All right. That concludes the debate under our rules. Uh, three speakers for and against the resolution. I'm offering an amendment. No? No? What is your amendment? That's George May, Precinct 612. After the, in the second to last being resolved, I've seen the last being resolved before the end and be finally resolved. Striking after the word slates, beginning with the word and all the way through other auxiliary group. So it would be being resolved that the Harris County Republican Party disassociate itself by the name, by name from, quote, pay for play, 
those boat slings, period. And we show that on the screen. Uh, let's see if they can do that. So you would strike the portion that Clint Moore talked about. I do a slate. Wait, wait, you're not speaking to it. That's your motion. That's your That's motion. motion. Is there a second, Daniel Caldwell? Seconds. So, uh, George, you want to speak to your resolution? I do a slate as a precinct chairman. The word disassociate is rather strong. I do not want Paul to be disassociating himself from me or me being on a list of people who are troublemakers simply because I let people know who I think they should vote for. Okay, someone to speak against the amendment shown on the screen, which would delete the highlighted portion. Anyone to speak against this proposed amendment? But uh, Jim Bowen, uh, Precinct uh, 72. Once again, uh, no one is saying that you can't publish a slate. All it says is that you can't say that your slate is the Harris County Republican Party right. slate. Right. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else speak in favor of this amendment to strike the highlighted one? One more? Yeah, with, with this amendment, I can support this because it takes out any question whatsoever of my slate, where I'm identified as a Republican Party precinct chairman, uh, takes it out of contention in terms of being mentioned. So I support the amendment, and I appreciate it, and I'll support the entire resolution if this is removed. Thank you. Okay, anyone else to speak against the amendment which would strike the highlighted language on the screen? Bonnie, you go to the mic. Okay. Bonnie Lugo, uh, SB 13, Precinct 223. It says that this is published, officially recognized a Republican club or auxiliary group. How is an individual a club or a group? Question answered. Anyone else to speak? Be the third final speaker in favor of the amendment to strike the language on the screen. Yes, ma'am. Speaker here. Donna Hillshire, precinct uh, 340. Just had a brain lapse. <laughs> 340, Donna. Um, it's poorly written. Where you look at the clause or other auxiliary group, that is not necessarily connected to officially recognized Republicans. Uh, when you read this, it's what I call um, weasel words. It can be taken one way or another. Now the intent and the people who intend it to mean something see it very clearly. But if you don't have that intent, I read this and I go, what the heck does that mean? You know, uh, I have a group of Republicans that meets for coffee at Starbucks. We're recognized. We're Republicans. I'm sorry. I think that this needs to be voted for with the highlighted yellow taken out or rewrite it. Okay. That's the last uh, speaker for the amendment to delete the highlighted mm -hmm. language. It'll be one more speaker if there is someone to... Oppose amending by deleting the highlighted language. Anyone oppose deleting the highlighted language? We've got over here. Hey, I'm Bill Fagan, Precinct 421. Removing this clause here completely negates the whole resolution. What we're trying to do is to preserve the Republican brand and to, and to only allow the Republican brand to put on uh, slates that is endorsed by the Republican Party or uh, associated uh, affiliated groups and things like that. If you don't let, allow slaves to use the Republican name, the Republican Party name uh, brand on their uh, their slates, then it completely negates this whole thing. So I, that's why I'm opposed to this. And that concludes the debate. Now, put the question to you, which is an amendment to the proposed resolution, the amendment would delete the language and highlight it in the second to last bit resolved. It would delete the language and any other slate that is not published by
but officially recognized Republican club or other political group. That's the proposed amendment. If you are in favor of that proposed amendment, say aye. Aye. Those opposed say nay. Nay. Let's try it again. All those, all those in favor of this amendment say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Nay. Everybody yelled a lot louder. Um, let's, let's just do a standing vote. That's not a, please, uh, and precinct chairs, please be in your uh, area. A standing vote is not a count yet. Okay, this is just the amendment, folks. It's just the amendment. All right. Uh, precinct chairs, seat in your, in your area, please. Uh, Let's go ahead and do my standing vote. If you are in favor of the amendment to delete the highlighted language, please rise. Okay, have a seat. If you oppose deleting the highlighted language, please rise. So we're going to do a division, folks. Can't really tell. Ask the ST chairs to uh, take account. This will just be a standing vote. Paper. Are the ST chairs ready? All the ST. All right. As soon as the ST chairs are ready, they will count. Again, precinct chairs, please be in your Senate district. Well, let's vote on the amendment. If you are in favor of deleting the language. Uh, shown highlighted on the screen in this in this resolution. Please rise and let your Senate District Chair get a count. When your district, when the SD chair has a count, you can let your folks sit. All those opposed to this amendment to the resolution, please rise and let your Senate District Chair count.
Okay, folks, we have the result. Uh, good thing we did the count. Uh, the amendment passes by vote of 83 to 77. Pretty close. So the, the, the resolution is now, as presented, is amended. If you could delete the language on the screen, he's getting there. Uh, so we concluded debate on the resolution. Uh, debate was already concluded, so we would already gotten to the end of, end of debate. We don't need to. We're done. Debate is done. But that was an amendment added at the end of the debate. So now, the, so the, the what's now is the resolution before you is had the language deleted, and I'll put we we'll have a vote on the resolution as amended. So y'all, everybody's straight. Now we're just voting on the resolution itself as amended. All those in favor of the resolution on pay to pay condemning pay to play slate endorsements as amended say aye. Aye. As opposed, say nay. I think the eyes have it. The resolution passes as amended.